Wow. I don't know how you found that video. Oh my God, I forgot about that. That is like the most embarrassing. I might not get everything right, but sometimes we find gems. All right, guys, as you know, I did it before they were famous on Katie Bell. A lot of you guys tuned in and uh, there were some thirsty comments down below. People are also saying, I looked a little thirsty. Well, I got lucky because <laughs> Katie Bell, she said she would do an interview with me. We have her here on FaceTime. Hi, Katie. Hi, how are you? I'm very good. Thank you so much for taking the time. Yes, no problem. Thank you for making that video for me. That was great. I loved it. You like, I get nervous sometimes making <laughs> these videos. People be like, what is he going to find out about me? No, I actually really, you, you got like 75% of it right. I was impressed. Uh-oh, uh-oh. We got some things wrong. Uh, <laughs> hit me with the bad news first. What did, what did we get wrong? Oh, I'm trying to think. Um, I didn't do any modeling like back in Florida. No way. All. No, so like when I got out of high school, I immediately worked at this place called Lizard Juice. <laughs> um, it's a vape company. And I started there as like working in like a, a mall kiosk and like as a manager selling e-cigarettes. And then um, I did that for a year. And then I was moved to a manager at a different store. And then I worked in the corporate office and did like customer service and social media director for five years. <laughs> That's a really good gig. And yeah, honestly, I, I learned a lot from that job. <laughs> and it totally played, like it worked out because it got you, when you met up with Dan and Ignite, you already knew all this. Yeah, exactly. So it's kind of like, uh, it just worked out for me. I'm very, very happy about it. We'll get into that a little <laughs> bit later, but I want to know what else I got wrong. So yeah, I saw on a website, it said that you were a model for local shops and stuff. I'm not wrong thinking people would hire you to model. like. That makes sense. Yeah, right? no, you're not wrong for that. So I'm not mad at you for it. <laughs> you you must have been like a 10 out of 10 babe. Like, were you like the prom queen or something? No, actually, like in high school, I didn't really have many friends. Why? People were kind of like mean to me. Like I never got invited to like the popular parties. Like I never got, I was never on the cheerleading squad. I didn't get like sick. Like I actually wasn't like that lit in high school. <laughs> Well, I had braces. I mean, I wasn't the cutest thing. <laughs> and I didn't have boobs then. <laughs> but that's not the best part about me. <laughs> so when, when was this like transformation? Like when did you all of a sudden become like, like you're an like, Instagram model now? I always like want like wanted to like do my makeup and be pretty. Like I always was like cute, but like, I don't know. I didn't go through puberty as quickly as everybody. <laughs> Maybe, I don't know. You know how you go through those awkward stages growing up? like and you're just like not cute. And then one day you wake up and you're like, okay, I'm cute. Yeah, for me, it's just been a downward slope in the, the no. opposite direction. No, you gotta tell the universe you're aging like fine wine. Like someone said in the comments that you have, you don't have brothers or you do have brothers. Um, so I have the two boys that are in that picture that you posted are my, actually my cousins. And and my uh, the little the girl in the middle is my cousin Jordan, but they are my brothers and sisters because their uh, mom and dad took care of me. Yeah. I actually saw your mom was in the comments. Like she's so proud of you. She's like, that's my my little girl. Yeah, yeah, that's my mother. Um, she's great. So what do your parents think of like you live in LA now? You're famous on Instagram. Your life's transformed. What do they think? Um. So like when I first told them that I was going to live in LA with Dan Bilzerian. <laughs> they were like, honestly, like my brothers were just like, you know what, if I was a girl, I would do it too. So like, they were cool about it. Like they were like, whatever. And uh, my parents were kind of just like, we trust like your best instincts. Like you're 24 years old. Like you've been like, you've been doing, you've been working at this job for so long. Like you deserve to like take this opportunity. So like, it was kind of like, they were like very proud of me and like supportive. What is that town you're from? Uh, like it's a small town, right? Um, yeah, it's uh, Palm Harbor. I went to Palm Harbor University High School. It's like, yeah, it's a little tiny town. It's like where the Tarpon Springs, there's like docks, they have like a golf cart community. It's a cute place. It's a good place to grow up. <laughs> I like it. It's really nice, but it's definitely, or I call it God's waiting room because like that's where all the people go to die and retire. So, <laughs> Got it. so when did you uh, then move to LA? Um, September. So it's almost been a year now. Oh, just a year ago. Yeah, just a year ago. So it happened. Um, so like I was um, in a relationship with this guy for like a year, and like we broke up or whatever. And like I started like wanting to like do something because I wanted to do something with my life, like become a model or something. I always knew I wanted to do something like that. So I like was 
on Instagram and I saw Dan was doing that like Ignite launch modeling thing. So like I sent him pictures of myself like in the DMs, like not even thinking anything of it, you know, just not even no writing with it. And one day I like seen Dan Builder and liked your message and I was like, what? Oh my God. So then I sent one again and I was like out with my friends and Dan wrote back uh, like a day later was like, you're cute for trying to hang out, just say so. <laughs> and I was like, oh my God, this, this is like crazy. Like that doesn't happen, you know? Uh, he asked me to come to LA and I didn't, like I couldn't because I work a nine to five job. Like I can't just leave my work and go see him. So that was kind of like faded away. Like I stopped talking to him for like a week and then I sent him a video and he's like, you're cute, you don't need filters. And I'm like, you're cute, when do you hang out? When are we hanging out? And then he texted me, at sat this was Saturday night, he texted me saying, um, I'm flying back from Mykonos in like 13 hours. You want me to pick you up in Tampa? I have to drop someone off on his like private jet. And like, I've never like left Florida before. So I'm like, uh, wait, what, like 13 hours? Um, so I had my little sister, <laughs> God bless her heart, Jordan. She was the one that you put in that picture. She drove me to the airport and I'm like, you can't tell mom or dad or anybody about this. <laughs> like, how, are you, how is she not going to tell people like this is happening? But like, she drove me to the airport and then uh, that's when I met Dan Bilderian. And I was only supposed to go, I had like brought my purse with me and I only had a bathing suit in it. And he's like, where's your bags? I was like, I have to be at work on Monday. <laughs> so that was on Sunday I said that and getting into a plane. <laughs> And then, yeah, we just uh, hit it off. We have a good connection. He's a great guy. Ah, what a fairy tale! <laughs> Who would expect anything less from Dan Blitzballer's Darian? He's from Tampa, Florida. He picked you up in a private jet. I was like, so me and my sister were sitting in the like private airport, or like we like waiting for him to come up, and you just see like Dan Bilzerian on a little golf cart comes up. I'm like, oh my god! But when I met him, though, like. As soon as I talked to him, like, I didn't feel nervous anymore. Like, he's just, like, such a normal person. And what, like, you think from the internet is, like, completely different. Like, he's such a good guy and, like, easy to talk to. Doesn't judge anybody. He, he's a really good listener because I talk a lot. And he, he listens, <laughs> surprisingly. But, like, he's cool. I'm glad I met him. I actually feel like I know. I don't know Dan. I, I've been at a party <laughs> and he was there. And I was too busy making out with some random that, like, I left. <laughs> And then they're like, yo, you were like two seats away from Dan Bilzerian. I'm like, what? <laughs> it's so cool. And he, you know what's great about him? No matter where we are, he will stop and take a picture with every single fan. Does not matter. He will, his security guard's like, oh my God. Like he doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what kind of crowd he's in. He will stop to meet his fans. And like, he appreciates everyone. And I think that's really cool about him. How long did you live together? Uh, one month. <laughs> if I wanted to do everything on my own, so like he didn't pay for me for everything. Like he helped me with my contract and he got me like all my feet, which is amazing. He got me out of debt and then I had to figure out how to get my own like place and my own car and stuff. And like, yeah, and we dated and it didn't work out because <laughs> I didn't realize I was going to be jealous, you know, all the time. Not jealous, but I think that just like I needed to like grow up and like I needed to figure out some stuff on my own, you know? Oh man, you felt like from the captions and from what I've read doing your story, you, you were deep in love. I still do love him. Dan holds a special place in my heart. He'll be in my life. He, he's not, he's, we're not going to get married or anything, so don't think that, but he'll be in my life forever, for sure. We would have really cute babies. <laughs> Little goats. Little goats. <laughs> Little baby goats. <laughs> So only a month there in the mansion, but you got hooked up with a gig. Do you still work for the company? I'm, I, I'm assuming. Yes, Smoke Ignite. And you're repping it huge online. It's on your Instagram. Um, I got the pants on. She got the pants. So you're in LA. You've got over a million Instagram followers. You got your house, your car, your job. What what what, what are you gonna do in the future? Um, so I'm still kind of figuring that out. I really just want to make sure that what I do, I'm loving what I do. I do want to inspire people in life too, um, that come from like no money, like, you know, just like kind of just, I don't know, inspire them that you can be whoever you want to be. So that's, I know one thing I want to do, but I'm definitely going to start YouTube. So that's what you guys can look forward to seeing soon. Um, I'm getting a camera for it. <laughs> I just got to get more comfortable behind the camera. Cause I've never done that before, but I have that like 
fast. We can talk fast like the YouTubers can. So I feel like I'm good for it. I feel like I can do it. So there's no, there's one video of a girl named Katie Bell falling over with a beer. Is that you? Oh, okay. That is me falling. But that, <laughs> but that is not my YouTube. I don't know how you found that video. Oh my God, I forgot about that. That is like the most embarrassing. I might not get everything right, but sometimes we find gems. That's amazing. I was like, that was the best. Like, that should have been on World Star. That was amazing, that video. But I like, that was a long time ago. I think that was in like 2011. Wait. It's a Joshua. I'm going in. I forgot to ask about this. So you moved to LA and it was through Dan you met Abby? Yeah, so like she moved from uh, New Orleans and I moved from Florida and we, um, I had a place already so she moved in with me and we were, we became best friends. Like, and I, it's hard to meet actual real friends out here in LA, but without Abby I'd probably like have lost my marbles because like people out here are crazy. She's a great person, very sweet. Um, her and Rice are the cutest thing ever. <laughs> I love them together. They fell in love and he took her from me. Cute. And I and I seen you on Rice's channel. You guys did like a truth or dare kissing thing. That was the first time Rice and I met, yeah. <laughs> that was literally the first time we met. I love it. That was uh, that was a fun <laughs> a fun video and uh, I think he rigged it though. I think he lost on purpose. No, 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 no. No, no, no he didn't want to see girls kissing? No, he didn't rig it. I just know Abby way better than him. Cute. Um, yeah. I love it. So you girls do live together, but she's just with Rice a lot. So we did live together. So she actually moved out. Um, she lives with Rice. We're actually both moving though um, to West Hollywood in the same area. So we're going to be like right next door to each other. Because we want to do our YouTube like together and like start growing it. Like I feel like we need to just like, you know, you got to do it. And it's better to do it with the team, you know, like me, Rice, and Abby were really good together. Amazing. Well, you guys can look forward to that. I'm sure everyone will go over and subscribe. When your channel is set up, send me a link so I can put it in the in the description box down below. Yeah. Um, it won't be, I'm going to start it up. I don't know what my first video is going to be, but it's going to be good. I'm going to make it good. I can only imagine your DMs have become uh, crazy. Uh, yeah, I try not to check them because people were like, for quite a time we're sitting dick pics. Oh my God, sorry. I don't know if you can like cut that out. It happens. Uh, but also my dad, my father, God bless his heart. He doesn't even have Instagram. I, will, I told him that Instagram isn't popping. Facebook is where it's at and he believes me. So we're just gonna keep it there. <laughs> but um, uh, he got a message from this like guy in India saying, hey, I love, I'm in love with your daughter, Katie. Um, I will pay you. This much, I'll pay you like $100,000 if you bring Katie to me. I was like, oh my God, that's my father. You're, you can't like, and my dad was like joking with me. He's like, if you would have offered a million, I would have talked about it. I was like, dad. <laughs> ah, I and also like, I have people, if you're listening, please stop asking for pictures of my feet <laughs> for money. Like I've been offered like $100,000 for a picture of my foot. And like, I have pretty feet, but like, I don't know if I want them to have that picture because I don't know what they're gonna do with it. I, <laughs> I saw you talking about your feet. They're size eight or something? Six? Yeah, they're size eight. And they should be bigger for that girl of your height? <laughs> so like, I'm five ten, and like normally girls, like, like girls who are just five eight have size like nine feet, and mine are eight. And I feel like that's why I'm clumsy because <laughs> I'm so tall. My feet aren't as big as they should be, and I'm not balanced. <laughs> Man, you keep talking. You're you're really good at selling your feet. I feel like that hundred grand is gonna is gonna rise up to a, a higher price, and and that could be a side oh. career. <laughs> I would definitely maybe have a million dollars for sure. I do it for ten bucks. <laughs> no, <laughs> no one wants to see my feet. I just feel weird because then I feel I don't want to like ever sell pictures for money. So that's why I feel weird about it. That's, but like whatever, I guess it's just like, I could take a picture offline, doesn't even need to be my feet. I'm just excited for you because I feel like you're so young, <laughs> you're so charismatic, you're obviously super hot. So there's just a world of opportunities ahead of you and you've got a great, you got a great head start. Thank you, I'm excited. I'm definitely excited to learn and grow and just figure out who I am. 
I hope I don't disappoint anybody. <laughs> I, man, who's not in love with this girl? I feel like all my <laughs> my followers watching this are gonna be like, like they wouldn't know that you're so easy to talk to. You would seem like a girl that's like, you know, stuck up or. I, you know what's funny is I actually get that all the time. Like people will be like, when I first met you, like I was. I didn't like think you would be like this nice or this cool. I'm like, I just think everyone's the same to me. Like, it doesn't matter who you are. In my eyes, everyone's the same. Like, everyone's equal to me and I love everyone until you give me a reason not to. Like, I'm always like gonna give someone a shirt off my back. Like, I've always been that type of person. <laughs> and I'm very like courageous and like, what do you call it, energetic. <laughs> I gotta end this interview or my girlfriend's gonna break up with me because I'm starting to, <laughs> I'm starting to catch feelings here. We got, we got to- Wait. <laughs> Tell your girlfriend I love her. Yeah, totally. I will, I will, I'll just <laughs> pretend this never happened. Uh, okay, Katie, so it's been great chatting with you. We're obviously gonna be keeping an eye on your future career. Um, if you wanna give Katie a follow, if you're not already following her, what's your Instagram? Katie with four E's, Bell. What was, was Katie Bell already taken? Yeah, I've already asked, I've already messaged Katie Bell on Instagram and she won't give it to me, so. So four E's, gentlemen. Obviously. Yeah. Also, thank you again for having me and thank you for that video and taking your time to like find out what happened to me before I got here. I really appreciate it. I loved it. I sent it to everyone in my family. Oh, thank you so <laughs> much. I often don't get like such positive, uh, you know, reactions. Like sometimes people are like, you're crazy. So I, I really I mean, you're just doing you're just doing what you love to do and you're doing what, what it is. They take it the hard way. That's on them. Nothing on you. <laughs> All right, Katie, I'll see you at our future wedding. Yes, I will see you there. Wait, tell your girlfriend I love her. Bye. <laughs> All right, bye, guys. Bye. bye.